The arms race and climate prediction is heating up with these tech startups in the lead. Diana Olick joins us here at Post 9 with the story, who the companies are, and what exactly we're talking about here when it comes to real estate, Diana. Yeah, Morgan, this is a brand new business model, much like what happened a decade ago when measuring cyber risk was all shiny and new. High-tech startups are now using powerful amounts of data to measure the rising risk of climate change to real estate. When Typhoon Mankut ravaged Hong Kong last summer and Hurricane Florence decimated Wilmington, North Carolina at the same time, in a tower high above Chicago, Mary Ludgen was watching. The head of global investment research at Heitman, Ludgen's job is to measure risk across the firm's $42 billion worth of property assets across four continents. And climate risk is the new frontier. We see it as the unexplored risk that we need to try to quantify. Heitman partnered with the Urban Land Institute in a groundbreaking study on climate risk and real estate investment decision making. It concluded that overall, the real estate markets are far from understanding climate risks enough to price them in today. But those who are prepared have the potential to outperform. We wanted to sharpen our skills and our ability to underwrite the risk of sea level rise, storm surge, wildfires. So Ludgin turned to a brand new category of companies, high-tech data analysts who go well beyond current flood maps to forecast future climate risk to real estate. When you look out at the water around Manhattan, what's the first thing that comes into your mind? It's beautiful and it's incredibly dangerous. Rich Sorkin is co-founder and CEO of Jupiter Intelligence, a barely three-year-old startup that has grown to a staff of 50, backed by $40 million in venture capital. Among its clients are the cities of New York and Miami. We're seeing a dramatic expansion in large corporations coming to us saying we need to understand the risk to this office complex or the risk to this hotel or the risk to this neighborhood where we have hundreds of millions of dollars of mortgages out. Jupiter analyzes specific properties using thousands of predictive data points and then gives its clients a risk score going out 10, 20, 50 years. We're essentially physically modeling what's happening with the atmosphere and the water or the fire at a very specific level of detail, which is now only possible because computers have gotten so powerful. And it goes well beyond what insurance companies forecast. Insurance is basically a one-year contract, at the end of which the insurer gets to say, oh, we'll keep insuring you, but here's the new cost. Or, sorry, insurance is no longer available given the wind risk in your location. And the risk is not just the wind and fire and water. It's also quantifying how much cities will spend to protect themselves against all that. And consequently, how much that will then cost real estate investors in higher taxes and new construction regulations. And Morgan, one of those companies we showed, 427, a couple of weeks ago, bought by Moody's. So it just shows you how valuable these companies are. Absolutely. When you talk about the future impact of future decisions by cities to, to build out and prepare against climate risk, what does that mean? Are we talking about additional taxes for property developers or something else? Exactly, exactly. It's what what Miami just did. They just voted a $400 million bond issue taxing themselves in order to protect the city by, you know, buying pumps, et cetera, all sorts of uh, fortifications. That, of course, gets priced into the real estate for the investors. Wow, that's amazing. Great package. Thank you for bringing that to us. Uh, In in terms of the names, I know you just mentioned one that was... uh, Jupiter. That was... Yes. Uh, but, but the names for investors to be watching in terms of the tech companies that are working in the space and, um, and, and yeah, that's it, that are working in the yeah, space. Yeah, I mean, Jupiter 427, those are the big ones right now. But look to the big firms like Moody's Analytics that are going to be getting into it and other tech companies that are going to say, look, this is a business we need to start quantifying the same way they did cyber risk. And Moody's, of course, uh, obviously offering all kinds of financial risk analysis. Uh, municipal issuers, right, they need to be rated by Moody's. So obviously this could filter into that.